What up, YouTube? I am back with a video, Hell's Paradise, Episode 8. It just came out today. You know I've been following this series for a while. I hope you guys have as well. Let's discuss this real quick. Now, Episode 8 is all about Tenza and Nargai. Tenza and Nargai are pretty much executioner and prisoner. Nargai was saved before by Tenza and realized that she doesn't deserve the fate that she deserves. And he explains that once he found out his girl, she definitely needs to be saved, which makes Nargai blush and want him even more. Going from there, walking amongst the beach, trying to find a way out with every specific current that they're coming across, they come across the individual known as Zujin. Zujin is one of the Tensin of the island, which are gods, and Zujin is wondering why there's so many corpses. Zujin transforms from female to male, which shocks pretty much Nargai and Tenza, and immediately attacks Tenza, knocking him away. Now, this doesn't knock him unconscious, by the way, but it just knocks him away, and then Zujin makes a swipe at Nargai, which she does a lot of acrobatic flips just to make it back towards Tenza. You know, protect her and all that stuff. She's very fond of Tenza. Now, now that Tenza is a, now that Tenza is aware that the individual is strong, he makes he does one of his ultimate moves, which cuts Zujin up. But Zujin pretty much can regenerate, so you already know what's gonna happen. Zujin appears before them. And, and is wondering why, you know, he's underestimating, you know, them. Of course, Tenza's sensei appears, Shion. Shion throws his sword, pretty much cuts cuts the head clean off of Zujin and tells them to run. Of course, they all meet up together in a little small isolated area, a little bit away from Zujin, but we know Zujin's going to come back because he knows the area more than they do. Shion introduces himself, been reading the currents, and been trying to find a way out of there just like them now that his prisoner is dead. Of course, they're wondering what happened. Shion states that the cannibal courtesan, she tried to seduce him, which led to her death. And it was well animated and adapted from the manga specifically. I think it's great. I think that's fantastic for Mappa to do. Going from there, he's wondering why Nargai is so well protected by Tenza. And Tenza explains that, again, Nargai doesn't deserve it. It was more like a wrong place, wrong time type of deal. And trying to make an example on our guy is just wrong. Of course, Shion, you know, believes that if he feels so strongly, then it is what it is. And he also points out that he knows that Nargai is a girl. Something that shocks Tenza, which is funny because Nargai like slaps, like slaps his arm, and I'm just like, that's so cute, that's so adorable. But the good times come to an end with them, with the reappearance of Zhu Jin and Shion tries to save them. But of course, Zujin already already made his mark by swiping at them, and it damn near slit uh, Shion's throat. Damn, like you're not dead yet. You know, when you slit somebody's throat, normally you, you're gonna die. But I guess it wasn't deep enough to you know execute him. But Zujin explains that they were trying to cut his head clean off, but it just didn't work. Of course, Tenza, who is the only one that can fight at the moment, makes his move because Shion is hurt. Tenza proceeds to fight. But doing his ultimate move again, Zujin makes it aware, makes it apparent that they are already accustomed to that fight style and takes Tenza out. Now, Tenza is not down and out, but he is out for just a split second before dropping his sword and using his fist. Now, that right there just, you know, it threw Zujin off guard. Now, as you know, Tenza is a wanderer of sorts and was picked up by Shion. Shion picked him up off the streets and made him change the ways he lives. Like, we got a nice little backstory on Tenza and Shion, and Shion is very fond of Tenza. Like, it's almost like a parent and child instead of, like, mentor and student. It's, it's, like, way different from that. Now that he's tried to finish off Zhu Jin, Zhu Jin makes a move. Of course, this motherfucker can regenerate and still use his arm and stuff, so he pretty much blows back. Tenza again, and Tenza's like, you know, you got to take Nargai and get out of here because Nargai wants to fight, and Shion is trying to read his, you know, read his words, but can't really get him out because he's just like choking on his own blood at the moment. Shion understands the situation, takes Nargai and run. Tenza is grateful and tries to fight again, and then it leads to the end game between Tenza and Zujin. Of course, Zujin wins. I don't know what my I don't know what my has against like 
animating nips. Like, mad anime have nips animated. It's just weird for them not to put it in there. Like, it's in the manga. Like, it's right here in the manga. I don't understand why they're not putting it, like, animating the nips. Like, literally put it in there, bro. It's not going to hurt nobody. Free the nips, bro. Free the nips. It ends with, you know, Nargai cursing Shion for not helping Tenza, but, you know, Shion's like, hey, he understood the situation, and there's no way we can beat this individual unless we gather allies. So that's going to be their next move is to gather allies, maybe link up with Gabi Maru and Sigiri to try to take down Zujin. Anyway, I hope you guys liked the video. You know, this was this was very good and sad in so many ways. Um, please like the video, share it amongst your peers, subscribe to the channel, make sure you turn notifications on, comment, tell me what you think about the episode itself. Whew. We're almost at the end game. Also, there won't be a new episode next week. The next episode is June 3rd. So make sure you mark this off your calendar. I won't be putting this out there next week. And, of course, follow me on socials as always. Holla at your boy. I'm off here.